Welcome back to our series, Maging Matalino. And today, we will discover kung paano ba maging matalino at maamo through the example of our Lord Jesus. Maging matalino at maamo. Sabi ni Charles Simeon, Now the wisdom of the one and the harmlessness of the other are very desirable to be combined in the Christian character. Bakit niya ito nasabi? He said, because it is by such a union only that the Christian will be enabled to cope successfully with his more powerful enemies. Kapag marunong at maamo raw ang isang Kristiyano, magtatagumpay siya laban sa malalakas niyang mga kaaway. In Matthew 10.16, Jesus used a figure of speech nang kausapin niya ang kanyang mga disciple. Tingnan niyo, Isusugo ko kayo na parang mga tupa sa gitna ng mga asong gubat. Kaya't maging matalino kayo na parang ahas at maamo na gaya ng kalapati. Sinabi ito ni Jesus nang suguin niya sila upang ipangaral ang pagdating ng kaharian ng Diyos, pagalingin ng mga may sakit, buhayin ang mga patay, at palayasin ang mga demonyo. Ganoon din, ipinaalam niya na may mga pag-uusig na darating. This means, makakarana sila ng spiritual warfare. Sa pakikibaka natin ngayon, paano tayo magiging wise katulad ng serpent? Serpents are always watchful, so we can be smart believers when we listen to the voice of God. Kapag ang isang tao ay may personal na relasyon sa Diyos, ang spirit mismo ng Diyos ang tumutulong sa Kanya to think and act smart kapag may problema. He will guide and protect you. Kaya kapag sinunod mo siya, malalayo ka sa kapahamakan. Paano naman maging gentle as a dove? The dove symbolizes godliness, purity, and gentleness, which Jesus is the best example of. He lived a holy life, acted in compassion, and challenged anyone who found fault in Him without resorting to violence. Jesus showed us how to be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, and He empowered us to do the same. Let us pray. Jesus, we want to follow Your example. Gawin ninyo kaming wise para malayo kami sa anumang uri ng kapahamakan. Help us also to share the gospel wisely and serve you wholeheartedly with gentleness. How do we apply this? Observe godly people who are wise yet humble, gentle but not pushovers. Anong pwede mong matutunan sa kanila? Kaya't maging matalino kayo gaya ng ahas at maamo na gaya ng kalapati. Matthew 10, verse 16b. Patuloy tayong makinig sa salita ng Diyos para tumalino tayo. This is Felici Pangilinan Buizan saying, Let us grow in wisdom and gentleness.